What is good John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. In today's video we are actually going to be talking about whether or not it's worth it to get the 1LE versus a 1SS, a 2SS, a LT1 or just a base model SS. You dig what I'm saying? Is the 1LE worth the 14 or 7,000 if I'm not mistaken, something like that. The 1LE package basically comes with the satin black hood, the front spoiler, the satin black mirror covers, the three-piece satin black uh, wicker bill style spoiler, the satin black diffuser, the 1LE branded calipers, six pistons up front and you got four pistons in the rear, and then going on to the interior of the vehicle the beautiful recaro racing seats with the alcantara suede inserts you get the alcantara slash suede wrapped steering wheel and shifter you get the heads up display you get the pdr you get the 200 on the dash you get all of your cooling such as transmission fluid oil fluid differential fluid you also get the electronic limited slip differential with the 1le there's there's so many other things that you get with the 1le because like i've said in multiple videos this car is basically a track performance focused car so not the drag strip but the autocross type track where they have the cones laid out there's a you know there's a route that they've already selected for you and you have to go through those cones at a certain amount of time um you know what i'm saying to get the best lap time that's what this car is made for so you get the extra radiators you get the differential uh fluid cooler like i said it is an electronic limit limited slip differential there's like a couple things that the regular ss out actually has as well um and the one sss have is the heads up display if i'm not mistaken i don't think the one ss has it but the two ss does have it they don't come with the pdr though um only the one le's and the zl1s come with the pdr you have to spec it also the red seat belts they do not come with the red seat belts you have to spec those as well other than that the motor is still the same it's a 6.2 liter v8 um, pushing out 455 horsepower to the crank and 455 torque. LT1 motor, same motor that's been in all of these six gens and all of these C7s um, and up as far as Corvettes go. So, you know, it's a very healthy motor. And then you get the 10 speed automatic with the 2020 and above. Um, in the 2019 and below, you get the eight speed automatic or the six speed manual as far as the transmission goes. Now, as you guys can see, the car looks phenomenal. I love the 1LE package. As you guys know, if you've been a part of the channel for a while now, then you would know I had the candy red 1LE MRR replica wheels for Mamba. And I really did love those wheels because honestly, in my personal opinion, the two best stock wheels that Chevrolet makes are the Z28, which I had on Hazel, and then the 1LEs, which I had on Mamba, and now I have on my 1LE because I have a 1LE. Um, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, those wheels look crazy. The front splitter looks crazy. You don't have to do too much to the front end. It comes with the wrap on the hood, which makes the car look even more menacing from up front then you get the big chunky wheels you get the 20 by 10 in the front 20 by 11 in the rear 285s in the front 305s in the rear so you got a chunky setup the brakes are gonna stop the car for sure them six pistons up front and four pistons in the rear definitely gonna handle everything that you need then this car's electronic limited slip differential is gonna help you out with the cornering for sure giving that power distribution to each wheel that it needs to as far as you know what i'm saying getting you know the power from the motor down to the ground through the car so that you can be uh, accelerated forward and then on top of all of that you get the magnetic ride suspension and i can't even lie y'all i'm gonna be honest i didn't even know what magnetic ride is until i got this car and i was doing my research and whatnot and i got in this car and i drove this car and i must say 
every car that I get after this car has to have magnetic ride suspension. Dude, coming from lowering springs, coming from bags, coming from coilovers, I've literally done all three suspension modifications for at least one of my cars. Magnetic ride is the best suspension like that I've ever like ridden in or drove. It's, it's, I just, I can't lie. Y'all have to drive a car with magnetic ride and just go through the functions. You got tour, you got sport, and you got track, just like the modes that are on the vehicle. And the suspension does change for each one of those modes so if you haven't already man make sure you you know try to get a chance to get behind the wheel of one of these cars because that magnetic rod is crazy that's what the one le is right we just went over everything that the one le has the package itself right now let's now we come to the question the title the thumbnail is it worth it it all depends on what you want and it all depends on what you want to do with the vehicle at the end of the day the reason why I got the 1LE is because I knew I was going back to the Camaro platform, but I knew I was not going to hop in the ZL1. And with that being said, I've already had a V6. I've already had a 2SS. What else is left? The 1LE or the ZL1? And with that being said, since we didn't get the ZL1, the 1LE is here. So, in my personal opinion, is the 1LE worth it over an SS? If you've already had an SS, then yes. If you haven't, you're coming from a V6, if you're coming from a, you know, uh, even the four cylinder RS that they have that's turbo, if you're coming from one of those and you're going into a V8 and it's gonna be your first V8, you want all the bells and whistles, man, go for it. Get the 1LE straight out of the gate from factory. The car looks amazing. The performance is unbeatable as far as like, you know what I'm saying, going from no V6 or a four cylinder vehicle, you're gonna get in this car and be like, oh my God. Then you got 200 on the dash. I mean, 200 on the dash. Can you really complain about 200 on the dash? You dig what I'm saying? But yeah, man, with that being said, in my personal opinion, yes, the 1LE is worth it to me. Just because I've had two Camaros prior to this. This is my third one. I've already had the 2SS platform, like I said. So the 1LE was definitely going to be the better approach for me. Now, is it you know worth it for you well that's up to you to decide february 18th from 7 to 10 o'clock the first ever ji wings and cars if you haven't already man make sure you save the date try to see if you can make it out if you're in the houston area or the surrounding areas the flyer pops up right here i'm telling y'all you're not gonna want to miss this if you have to miss it it is okay this is a monthly meet so we do have next month but this is the first one so the energy is just going to be completely different. The environment's going to be crazy. It's going to be live music. There's going to be a photographer. There's going to be free food. There's going to be merch. You'll see the car, the new wheels, all the other modifications that you won't see until the meet or after the meet will be there. So make sure you guys pull up if you can. If you can't, it's all good. But without further ado, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope this was helpful for those of my guys and girls who are out there on the fence about either getting the SS or getting the 1LE. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section down below. Smash that subscribe button for the kid. We're on the road to 3K. We're so close. We're like 20 subscribers away from hitting 3K at the time that I'm shooting this video. If the time, if by the time the video goes up and we're already at 3K, thank you guys so much for 3K. The journey has been crazy. I can't wait to see what's in store for Vader. I hope you guys can make it out to the meet. But without further ado, that's going to do it for this one. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.